The Grateful Magpie. Long ago, a scholar was headed to Hanyang to take the civil examination. One day, the scholar saw a snake about to eat up a magpie's nest. The mother magpie flapped its wings, not knowing what to do. The scholar saw this and took out his arrow. The arrow went flying and struck the snake in the head. The snake died on the spot. The magpie flapped its wings as if to say thank you. Ho oh, ho! Oh. The magpie is thanking me. Night came and the scholar looked for a place to stay the night. Oh dear, where will I sleep in these deep mountains? The scholar discovered a light shining in the distance. Oh, there must be a house over there. The scholar went to the house to ask to stay the night. Is anyone home? A moment later, a woman dressed in white appeared. I wondered if I could stay the night here. The woman hesitated and showed the scholar in. Thank you. I will be able to rest in comfort now. The woman didn't answer and disappeared. The scholar fell asleep quickly since he had to leave early. And the scholar felt out of breath. A huge snake was winding itself around the scholar. I will take revenge for my husband who you killed today. I only stopped it from eating up the magpie's nest. It's mean to eat baby magpies. Quiet! Ha <laughs> ha! Fine. If the bell in that temple rings three times before day breaks, I will spare you. The scholar closed his eyes at such absurd words. It was getting light. The scholar was prepared to die. It was then something surprising happened. The bell began to ring in the empty temple. Once, twice, three times, the scholar was spared his life. The scholar went to the temple. There, he discovered the magpie who he had saved. The magpie had died to save the scholar. The scholar was grateful and buried the magpie in a nice spot.